our agenda, and that is the special events ordinance amendment. Um, this is something that Peg and I talked about a couple of about a month ago, a little over right. a month ago. Right around Santa Con. Right around Santa Con time. There was um there was a discussion uh around the town about having a Santa Con here in Lake Como, um, which I believe they were moving forward with, but <coughs> kind of put a stop to it because uh there well, we did put a stop to it because there was no um special events permit taken out so um i asked peg to look recording in progress thank you i asked peg to take a look at our special events ordinance and uh put it on for a workshop so you should have two copies you should have a red marked copy which my copy is actually blue marked but you should have some type of marked copy and then uh, a final version to look at as well. Now, Peg, can you just go through this a little bit? And right. So when we did. looked, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, man. No, just tell us what you did. Yeah. So when we looked at it in, in connection with SantaCon, a couple of things jumped out of this. One was that it wasn't really clear that that particular event, because it said concert, race, walkathon, fair, et cetera, et cetera, didn't necessarily include that, although we could certainly argue that it did. If, which came to show, but we thought it would be an opportunity to clear that up as well as making sure that they can't have the event without getting the permit, which also says that you're supposed to get a permit, but we also needed to just make it a little, a little tougher. We also noticed that there was no reference to extraordinary services like the police. Otherwise it said things like um, if there were additional salaries, wages, or other expenses, but just the mere fact that, that it would require additional services, um, costing the municipality money potentially or at least using you know police overtime or whatever we had to do that we thought we should include that as the sort of thing that would entitle us to require a permit and so it's really just it's really just cleaning up an old ordinance you know a lot of times when these things are on the books for a long time you take a look at them to figure out whether or not they cover a particular situation and it was clear to us that it would that it would cover it and we so advised the mayor but thought that it would be a good opportunity to make sure that we're even clearer about what we can and can require can't require so you see what we did is we just added no person or organization shall hold or conduct a special event without first obtaining a permit pursuant to this chapter. And then we changed instead of using, we just put the, the word event and then included at the very bottom of the paragraph defining special events, special events include, but are not limited to any concert race, walkathon, et cetera, et cetera, which allows us to have some leeway if we think an event's going to cause some disruption um, publicly or some additional services. And then we added the line in the middle of, the definition or which would be likely require additional or extraordinary services such as police, fire, or medical aid. So it's what we call a cleanup ordinance. Someday, if you guys had nothing better to do and you had a whole bunch of extra money, and we might just go through your entire ordinance book and clean that up, but that's for tomorrow. <laughs> Questions, anybody? Um, yeah, any, any questions from the council? So, Peg, you're confident that in a situation like SantaCon, um, that this ordinance would cover that as needing a special events permit? Absolutely. So that event was really more of like a bar crawl, I think they called it. Right, right. So would, what would you consider that to be under here like a walkathon or just well no or any event that would require additional or extraordinary services such as police fire or medical aid so when you got a bunch of drunks walking up and down the street that would be the sort of event that would require a permit gotcha and the fact that it was sponsored by someone um makes it an event like if it's right. just a i mean there are drunks walking up and down the street all the time i guess during <laughs> the summer and and that's not necessarily a special event <laughs> right, you got to be organized by somebody. <laughs> and so I was going to ask, like, how do you draw the line between like a group of friends, big group of friends walking down the street, and what's an event? But you're saying it's because it's sponsored by an organization. That's exactly. what makes it fall under this ordinance. Yep. Okay. A, a person or organization desi the desiring to hold any concert, race, walkathon, etc. It gives you discretion because, Councilman, that's an interesting question. I suppose if if you decided to put, get a whole bunch of your neighbors together and have a bar crawl, 
the borough could look at that and say, wait a minute, you better come see us and let, let us give you a permit because it is likely to cause some disruption. And now if there's four, four or five of you, probably not. But if there are 25 of you, that's a whole different issue. Yeah. Just Any other questions? No. Okay. Um, so at this time, I will open up to the public for comment on our workshop shop item. You don't have anything else, Peg, do you at this point? I do not. All right. Um, for our workshop item, um, at this time, anyone wishing to speak on this item can unmute yourself um, and or raise your hand if you have that ability. Well, I'll need your name and address. Okay, seeing none, I will uh, close the public portion for the workshop item. So, um, Peg, is this something that we could add to our agenda tonight? Yes, we can. We can put it on for first reading. Okay. Um, do we have... We don't really have language for an ordinance, do we? Or we just read the ordinance as is? It's, we can just say that uh, someone can move to adopt the amendments to ordinance number 4-16. Point one. No. And, and two, just the entire ordinance, 4-16. I just, do you think we should include, um, If I, maybe I'm missing it, but the verbiage about if a person or place sponsors an event then it's it's considered a special event because we don't i don't see that in here but maybe well if you read the first one though a person or organization desiring to hold any concert race walkathon blah 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 which events shall qualify under the definition of special event as defined below and then a special event is any event okay. which is require so an organization holding is in at least in my interpretation it's the same as sponsoring and i i don't have a problem saying um, desiring to hold or sponsor, but technically they're not sponsoring if they're charging. So mm -hmm. a holding holding would encompass sponsoring. Okay. And it also says in the next line, conduct, right? So it's and no person or organization shall hold or conduct a special event. I think that covers... Let me look at, okay. Uh, okay. All right, so I'll put that on our agenda, um, the adoption of amendments to ordinance Four dash sixteen. Four dash sixteen. Okay. And all right. Um, since we have nothing else, I'll close the uh, workshop portion of our meeting. The time is now seven thirty nine. I will call the regularly scheduled meeting of the Lake Como Borough Council to order. If everyone could please rise for a salute to the flag and a moment of silent reflection. I am going to share my screen if I can, because I am on a new device. So just give me one second. Okay. Tap into and a copy of the notice was posted on the borough website and on the borough, borough bulletin board in Borough Hall. All meetings are open to the public. Roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Here. Skull? Here. D'Antuano? Here. Demora? Here. Ventries? Here. Abala Doyle? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes of the January 18th council meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Uh, opposed or abstentions? I think everybody was here. Um, we have no communications, reports of committee, starting with Councilwoman Albala Doyle. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I have spoken to both Barry Trogu and Michael Bardsley, one from the Recreation Department, the other from the Board of Education. Um, Mike has nothing, no updates for us at this time, but we do have the communication going. As far as the Recreation Department, uh, Barry wanted me to pass along that the Trishore Little League signups have started. Um, it looks like the registration deadline is on 331. Um, so August 31st, the uh, form is up on the borough website so people can find out what the league fees are and also the divisions, the different divisions. Um, and sign up would be at www.trishorell.com. So that's for Little League. Um, also, they are hosting yoga classes every Thursday from 1130 a.m. to 1230 um, and they say that it's $5 per class and that you just need to bring your own mat and sign a waiver. And the last thing was that the Belmar Rex baseball and softball clinics will be starting on March 3rd, going to March 24th, every Thursday. Session one will be for boys and girls in grades first to third grade. The time will be from 315 to four and session two for the boys and girls in grades four to six will be from 415 to 515. The cost is ten dollars. Anybody who's interested should go to www.belmar.com. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and I, be I believe the little league information is up on our social media as well, uh, Facebook, I believe. Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, um, Councilman Ventries. Thank you, Matter. Uh, all matters are in order. Thank you, Councilman Demaro. Uh, thank you, Mayor. We. Uh, I participated in a meeting with the mayor, uh, Councilman Witte, the borough administrator and borough clerk regarding the situation with the EMS. Uh, and I, I believe we're going to close session tonight to discuss it. And uh, it's an ongoing situation with really nothing to report other than there is progress in looking at the whole picture. Um, other than that, uh, Chief Scott, do you have anything uh, under police? Nothing to report tonight. Thank you. Well, other than that, all matters in, are in order. Mayor. Thank you very much. Councilman Dantuano. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I just wanted to um, thank uh, Brendan and the whole DP DPW for um, everything they did during the, uh, the winter storm over the weekend. Um, they were out there starting late Friday night and were at it all weekend, um, doing their best to keep the roads clear. And I think they did you know, a great job. And it was, uh, as we all know, who were out there shoveling. It was not easy. It was uh, a lot of snow, a lot of blowing snow. And it seemed to just keep piling back up right when you think you're done. So um, you know, I really appreciate it to Brendan and your crew. Good work. Other than that, all matters are in order. Thank you very much, Councilwoman Skull. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, the first meeting of the Tourism Commission of 2022 will be on Monday, February 7th at 730 on Zoom. Um, we'll be welcoming a new member of the Tourism Commission, Dr. Laura Kelly, who is um, a physical therapist doctor at MANA Physical Therapy um, here in Lake Como on the corner of Main Street and 18th. Um, so we're excited to have her aboard and, you know, see what kind of ideas she has for tourism. Um, other than that, all matters are in order. Thank you very much. Council President Witte. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On the Finance Committee, uh, all matters are in order. Thank you very much. Um, for my report, I would just like to echo the sentiments of Councilman D'Antuano. Uh, I expressed this to, um, to some people today when I woke up on Saturday morning and I saw blacktop in front of my house. I knew it was going to be a good weekend for Lake Como. Um, so Brendan, thank you. And to your, your staff for everything that you've done over the past couple of days, uh, you, we got almost two feet of snow and, and that's a lot of snow to move. Um, there's not just no, nowhere to put it sometimes. And, and we get, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Um, likewise, great job to, uh, our new administrator, Mr. Heisman for trial by fire this week. This was your first week and you got um, you had a two foot snowstorm. 
to uh, to work through. So thank you for your for your uh, work this week. And uh, Louise, as always, thank you for keeping us in the loop of everything that's going on. So thank you all very much for the things that you do every day for us here in Lake Como. Um, we have no unfinished business. So at this time, I'll take a motion to open for public comments on new business and the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Uh, we have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Anyone wishing to comment on the consent agenda or new business? You can either raise your hand or you can unmute yourself. I have Mr. Schutz, if you would like to uh, unmute yourself. Uh, name and address, please. Schutz, 1817 Bradley Terrace. Um, I... I just wanted to make a comment about uh, Facebook. You mentioned for social media, you use that as a way to notify residents about uh, different events and news. Um, I, I believe the way it's set up right now, your account, is that it's not publicly available. I think you need a Facebook account or um, you need to like the page or something like that because I don't use Facebook, but sometimes I can go to restaurants and see their Facebook account without ha lot being logged into Facebook. That's not the case with the borough Facebook account, I believe. So you might want to check into that. The other thing I had a question about was uh, what is the latest for the uh, the latest news about the old first aid building, uh, whether that was purchased and what the plans are, what, what's the current state of that? Because I know you were talking about move, moving municipal office into that. So yes, the um, the first aid building, as you know, it is owned by the borough at this point. Um, we are also, I believe, uh, at the final stages of purchasing the um, the property next door. Are we? Are we? Is that signed, sealed, and delivered? Are we? Where are we Not, on that? Path? We're still working on that. The problem is that the the two people who owned the property died um, one after the other. And only one of them had signed the contract at the time they died. And so I've been talking to the attorney. There's now an executrix of the one estate, administratrix of the other estate. We revised the contract and sent it to them for her to execute it. He says he's going to be able to close it very quickly. So we're hoping within the next 30 days. Thank you. Um, and at the same time, our auditor is conducting a cost benefit analysis for the entire project of the, um, the the properties that have been purchased and the properties that would intend to be sold uh, and uh, looking for a financial analysis that can be shared with the public at some point. So that's where we are with that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else want to raise their hand? If not, you can unmute yourself. Comments on the Consent agenda or new business? Okay, seeing none, I'll take a motion to close this portion of the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> uh, moving on to the consent agenda, we have the three items under the consent agenda. Can I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Um, I have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Thank you. Under new business, we have a special events permit application for the Belmar 5. Um, it's going to be offered by Councilwoman Skull. I will ask if there's anyone in the audience um, that is a representative for this uh, special events permit. You can unmute yourself and name an address, please. Chip Cavanaugh, 1840 Fernwood Road, Lake Como, New Jersey, president of Goodwill Hose Company. Chip, can you just go through, um, did we have the Belmar 5 last year? Yes, we did. We did. The, can you go through um, the application? Is there any changes or adjustments that we need to make from previous years? It's the same as every other year, except for last year, we started doing it on Labor Day weekend. Um, only because of COVID and we decided to keep it there. It seemed to work a little better better than having it in July. And, um, you know, it just made it easier on, on the town services. So we kind of went with that, hoping that that's the case. And it still draws the same amount of people. So 
the fire company can make money. And on Saturday of Labor Day weekend, everybody's usually sleeping until 10 o'clock anyway, right? So <laughs> they're not up driving around. Okay. Questions from the council? Chief, I'm sorry, before we go to council, Chief, any comments? No, um, I think it did work out very well last year on Labor Day weekend. Um, the only issue we have on our end is uh, our manpower is a little bit low with the specials going back to school um, and, and other jobs. But um, we worked with the fire department and were able to get the route and everything secured um, so that the, the race was successful. So as long as we do that again, everything's good on our end. Chip, you're good with that? I'm good with that. All right, awesome. Questions from the council? I see none. Um, Councilwoman Skull, your name is on there. Would you like to make the motion to approve that permit application? Sure. Um, so moved. All right. <laughs> have a motion. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Wade? Yes. Skull? Yes. Antoano? Yes. Demora? Yes. Beatrice? Yes. Abala Doyle? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, we have resolution 2022-63 offered by Councilman Ventrice. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> so offered resolution 2022-63, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Lake Como that the proper offices uh, be directed and authorized to make payments from the following accounts. From the current account, $312,891.74. From the water and sewer account, $7,280.36. From the payroll account, $38,266.08. From the tourism account, $350. Thank you. Uh, I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Skull? Yes. D'Antuano? Yes. Tomorrow? Yes. Ventrice? Yes. Abella Doyle? Yes. Thank you. Um, before we move forward, I do have a point of order and um, just for any of the public that is here um, and may not want to wait around, our alcohol beverage control portion of the agenda tonight Resolution 2022-68 is going to be pulled from the agenda. It will not be discussed tonight. We had a request from the applicant prior to the meeting if we can move it to the next meeting because uh, of some paperwork that they had needed to get done. So that will be removed from the meeting. We'll, we'll not be discussing that. Um, okay, Resolution 2022-64 offered by Councilman DeMauro. Be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of Borough Lake Como that the proper officers be directed and authorized to make payments in the following account. New Jersey Natural Gas Company, uh, PPNG, $1,128.01. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Skull? Yes. D'Antuano? Steen. DeMauro? Yes. Ventries? Yes. Alvala Doyle? Yes. Thank you. Resolution 2022. Uh, what was that? I'm sorry, I lost it. Is that 64? 66. Sorry, thank you. 2022 66, offered by Councilman D'Antuana. Thank you, Mayor. So offered resolution number 2022-66 is a resolution authorizing the borough clerk to solicit proposals for an emergency utility repair contractor. And if Louise, you could I give a little more background for everybody on this. Yes. Um, we, if you recall, we did go out to bid um, for this in the past and our current contract is actually already expired. So um, we want to go out for new bids. So it'll cover us. Um, because of the the main breaks we've been having, we're already over our threshold, our bidding threshold. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Any questions from the council on this specifically? Okay. Roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Skull? Yes. D'Antuano? Yes. 
DeMora? Yes. Ventries? Yes. Albala Doyle? Yes. Thank you. The resolution passes. We have resolution 2022-67 offered by Council President Witte. So offer resolution 2022-67 authorizing the mayor to execute a agreement for the tax map share services with Mama County. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions from the council? Roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Stahl? Yes. D'Antuano? Yes. DeMora? Yes. Ventries? Yes. Albala Doyle? Yes. Thank you very much. Next, we have Ordinance 2022-967, <coughs> offered by Councilwoman Albala Doyle. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so offered ordinance number 2022-967. This is an ordinance creating and funding of a separate position of borough administrator for the borough of Lake Como. Um, Thank you. Um, so I have a motion. Do I have a second before questions? Second. Any specific questions from council on this ordinance? Okay, seeing none, I'll take a uh, roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Skull? Yes. D'Antuano? Yes. DeMora? Yes. Ventries? Yes. Albala Doyle? Yes. Thank you very much. Ordinance 2022-968, first reading and introduction, offered by Councilman, Council President Witte. So offer ordinance 20-22-968, calendar year 2022, ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limit and establish a cap bank. This is just housekeeping we do every year before we do the budget to create a cap bank if we need it, but it's not necessarily saying we're going to exceed the the, uh, the cap. Correct, Louise? That was perfect. <laughs> I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Questions? Uh, roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Skull? Yes. D'Antuano? Yes. DeMauro? Yes. Ventries? Yes. Albala Doyle? Yes. Okay, thank you. And we have... Wait, did we do 67, um, 2022-67, the tax map shared services? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I, <laughs> I must have missed that one. That's okay. Okay, sorry. It's all right. Sometimes I amaze myself on how fast I am. It's okay. <laughs> um, we finally have uh, the adoption of amendments to Ordinance 4-16. Uh, if Councilman D'Antuano maybe would like to um, move that, if, if you so see fit. Sure. Um, what number is that again? 4-16. It'll be 2022 969. Okay, 2022. So offer, oh, so it's a separate ordinance to. Right. To, okay, I'm sorry. Amend, right, an ordinance to amend 416. I got you. Okay. All so right. this will so, be ordinance 2022 969. Yep. Sole offered ordinance number 2022 969, um, amending the borough's uh, special events permit ordinance. Thank you. Excellent. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Witte? Yes. Stahl? Yes. D'Antuano? Yes. DeMauro? Yes. Ventries? Yes. Albala Doyle? Yes. Okay, thank you. Before we go into our executive session, I'd like to take a motion to open for public comments. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, anyone? Um, from the public who has comments on anything, please, you can either raise your hand again, or um, if you cannot find that feature, you can uh, unmute yourself if you wish. We will need your name and address before your comments. Okay, I see none with a hand up. 
Um, I see no one trying to mute, unmute themselves. So with that, I will take a motion to close the public comment portion. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, at this time, the um, Borough Council will go into public session. We will report back or we will come back and make any reports if we deem at that time that we need to make reports to the public. Um, but we will be going into another link. I will keep this link open, Louise, uh, if you want to switch over to the other link for our, our closed session. We all have that link. You should have the link. I believe Louise it just, just sent it sent. out prior to the it's board. That the sent you yes, right. Okay. Nick should be coming in. There he is. Okay. Okay, it is 8.35. We have come back from closed session. The mayor and council have nothing to report at this time. Um, so I will ask Louise to tell us about our next meeting, please. Next regular meeting of the Mayor Council will be held on Tuesday, February 15th, 2022, immediately following the 7.30 p.m. workshop meeting, and the location will be determined. All meetings are open to the public. Thank you very much. Can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. We are adjourned. Everyone have a great night. Stay warm. It's going to warm up. All that snow is going to melt. So watch yourself. <laughs> thank you. Have a good evening. Good All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. All right. Bye-bye.